Initial checkout event is very crucial for your TikTok ads because it tells your ads manager that which event it has to optimize for when you are doing the dynamic ads marketing. However, since Shopify does not give you access to the checkout route, it is very difficult to track the begin checkout event on your TikTok ads manager. However, in this video, we are going to use Google Tag Manager and track the events on the button click events when the user is on your cart page and redirect it to the checkout routes. This video has been divided into five different sections. In the first section of the video, we are going to see how we can configure Google Tag Manager container on your Shopify store. In the second section of the video, we will configure TikTok base configuration tags so we can track events such as page view. In the third section of the video, we are going to write a script that will trigger this begin checkout event that we can use later in the fourth section of the video to create the tags for TikTok pixel that will send initiate checkout event. And in the final section of the video, we will do some testing and make sure all the changes are live and published. Let's go to our Google Tag Manager container so we can get the head and body tracking snippets code that we have to add on our Shopify store. So click on this tracking code on your Google Tag Manager workspace window and let's just copy the head section first since we want to add this one on our Shopify store. Let's go to our Shopify store and click on themes under online stores and click on the three dot action button and click on edit code. What this is going to do is redirect you to the theme files on your Shopify store where you have access to all the code of your backend files. We are going to identify where we have the opening head tag and paste the Google Tag Manager head code right below it. Now we need to paste the same thing for body tag. However, the body tag has to go right below the opening body tag. So let's just do a control F to quickly search through this theme file. For me, the opening body tag is on line 92. So let's just see where it ends and let's create some space to add this Google Tag Manager body code. Let's hit format liquid and hit save on our theme file to make sure that these changes are safe. Let's just verify before moving to the next step if the Google Tag Manager container is properly firing. So let's just go back to the Google Tag Manager container and click on the preview button on the top right corner. What this is going to do is connect a temporary debug window with our Shopify store that we can use to debug all kinds of events, tags and triggers. So let's hit connect on this debug window and this will open a Shopify preview window. If you have this Google Tag Legacy Assistant Chrome extension, you can see that we have the Google Tag Manager container properly firing on the website. And if you go back to the debug window, we can see that this has successfully connected with our website. That means the Google Tag Manager container is perfectly firing on our store. So now we can confidently move on to the second section of the video where, where we are going to configure the TikTok base configuration tag on our Google Tag Manager container. To do that, you need to head over to the TikTok Ads Manager. So let's just go to the TikTok Ads Manager and under the tool section, you're going to find an option for events. Events is similar to how we have data sources in Facebook or how we have Google Analytics data streams. Here you can see that we have multiple types of events managers, but since Shopify is a web event, so we are going to go for the web events. You can have more than one TikTok pixel on your account. And if you don't have any pixel, you can simply create one. However, we do have a test pixel for this particular website. So we are going to open that test pixel. Perfect. Now we need to get this tracking script for this code. So let's just click on add event and select manual setup. Since we are going to do a Google Tag Manager integration, we don't need to follow all the steps that this setup window provides. So we can simply just hit skip step because we are not going to use the event builder tool and hit next. We are not looking at the server side tracking for this video. However, we will cover that in the future videos. So let's just select the custom code to set up the browser pixel right now. Let's just copy the code for this TikTok pixel and go back to our Google Tag Manager container. And since we want this tag to fire on all the pages of our Shopify store, so let's hit all pages for the trigger. And under the tag configuration, we are going to select a custom HTML tag and paste the code that we just copied. We might need to reuse this TikTok pixel ID for other events. So let's just copy it and create a variable for this one. Let's rename it to custom HTML TikTok configuration tag and hit save. Now let's just create that variable so we don't have to copy and paste this value again and again from the ads manager. So let's just go back to the variable section and create a new user defined constant variable. Let's paste the value and rename this to TikTok pixel ID. 
The only reason for doing this is so that we don't have to copy and paste the value again and again. It, if you don't do that, it's completely fine. So let's just go back to the tag section and replace this ID with the constant variable that we just created. If you hit double curly brace it, it will open the option to input any of the variables that you have enabled or created in your Google Tag Manager container. So let's just hit save. And what they should have done is successfully added an page view event for TikTok Pixel. So let's just verify this by hitting the preview window and connecting the website with the debug window. So let's just go preview window of our Shopify store. And if you have this TikTok Pixel event helper, you will see all the events that are firing right now. We can see that we have a page view event triggering. You can ignore this section because it is just telling you that the script is not firing from the head section. It is firing from a Google Tag Manager container. We can see that the page view event is properly firing. So now we can just move to the third section of the video where we are going to configure the begin checkout scripts on our Shopify store. In the link of this video, you will find a blog post where you can get the scripts for the head data layer and the body code snippet. So let's just go to this blog post and copy the head data layer code first and go to our Shopify store. It's really beneficial if we create separate snippets for each code to make everything organized. So let's just create one for head data layer. And then let's create one for checkout data layer. Let's create data layer slash checkout. Perfect. We can paste the code for the head data layer first, and then we can paste the code for the body data layer. Let's hit save to make sure all the changes have been saved. And on our theme file, right below the body snippet code, we want to make sure that we are including this head snippet file. You can include any kind of file, but by simply writing one line of code, which says include and name of that file. Since we want the head data layer file to be included on all the pages of the website, we can do that. So let's just do a quick overview of this code and what it is doing. So in order, if you want to make any changes, you can do that. So this line is importing this head data layer code on our Shopify store. And what this is simply doing is managing this data layer checkout file. And this checkout data layer file is checking the cart object and seeing what items we have. And then it is pushing a custom begin checkout event. The reason for pushing custom underscore begin checkout event is to make sure that this event naming configuration does not coincide with any other events that you might have on your website. Perfect. Let's just verify if this event is working all right or not. So on your Shopify page, you can go to your cart page and click on the begin checkout button, which will redirect the user to the checkout route. Once we click that, you can go back to your debug window and you can see that a custom begin checkout event has been fired. And this has detail of all the products that were in the cart. Since we only had one product with two quantity, it has pushed that information. It also has variables such as value and currency. So our data layer script is working all right. And now we just need to make sure that we have proper tags configured that will send this information back to your TikTok ads manager. So let's just head over to our Google Tag Manager web container and we can do the same event using the custom HTML tag, but managing everything through custom HTML tag can be a little daunting. So we can just use the tag template gallery where we can see the tags that has been created by the awesome community we have on our Google Tag Manager side. This TikTok pixel tag that we are going to use in this video has been created by the TikTok pixel team. So we can just click on the tag and add it to the workspace. Once any tag has been added to the workspace, we can use it simply like any other tags. Unfortunately, this tag does not work with the page view event. So we still need to add the page view event using custom HTML tag, but we can use this one for the initiate checkout event. Since we don't want the trigger to fire on all the pages of the website and we only want to fire it on that specific event. So let's create a custom event trigger for this one. This custom event trigger will only look for this event. So let's just copy the name of this event, go back to the container and rename this to custom event, custom begin checkout. The naming convention does not really matter. You can name it whatever you want, but make sure that it is custom begin checkout. And now we can place a tag, which will send a initial checkout event back to the TikTok pixel. It, it only requires a few things such as TikTok pixel ID. And it also requires the name of the event. And we want the name of the event to be initiate checkout. We don't have any kind of user information right now because the user information is provided after this event at the purchase event. So we can leave these places empty. 
And a really neat feature about using the scripts I have provided in the description is that they follow GA4 standard setup. So you can simply click on this button and it will automatically track everything for you. Uh, the only variable it requires is the currency one. So we, we do have that variable in our data layer. So we can just use e-commerce dot currency to access this variable. So let's create a new user defined variable, which is a data layer one and let's rename it to e-commerce dot currency. Let's rename the whole variable to DLV e-commerce dot currency. And perfect. Now we have everything working. All right. And the only thing we need is to make sure that it is working all right so let's rename the tag to initiate checkout and hit save in this last and final section of the video we are going to test if this configuration is working all right so let's hit preview on our google tag manager container and go back to our shopify store where the debug window has been connected and let's just add a different product in our cart so we can see how multiple products affect this thing so let's go to any other product page and add this to the cart. And now we can simply go to the cart page of our Shopify store, or we can click on view cart from the page that it depends how your Shopify store has been configured. So let's click on checkout button and this should have triggered the event. Now we can go back to the debug assistant window and we can see that the custom begin checkout event has fired and it has two different items with one quantity is two and the other one is one quantity. We can verify the same information using the TikTok pixel event helper. If you will click on that, you can see that it has fired an initiate checkout event. And if you will expand the event, you can see that it has all the details of the items that has been sent under contents. It has item ID, contents name, content IDs, and all the other details. It also has the value and the currency parameter. And this is how you can successfully track the TikTok initiate checkout event. The only thing we need is to make sure that the changes has been published so they don't stay in our debug window and they are live on the website. So let's rename it to TikTok initiate checkout event. However, all the things that we have done will not be really useful if you are not tracking the final and the most important event, which is purchase for your TikTok ads account. So in the next video, we are going to see how you can track purchase event for your TikTok pixel in order to make sure your ad algorithm is really optimized.